Hey, welcome back to another solar video on the channel. My name is Ivan Pashov, and in this video, I'm going to give you the three ways to generate solar leads online in 2021. All right, so now more than ever, everyone knows that it's easy, 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 piss easy, right, to generate leads online, but how do you actually do it? These methods are going to be known to everyone that's probably watching this video. I, I am going to try to give you some of the rundown and some of the details on every single one of them. They're easy, okay? YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. I'm going to get, go, uh, get into detail in a second, uh, you know, and what makes it actually effective, what makes those methods effective. Uh, but most importantly, I'm going to tell you this. Look, it's not just because of the pandemic. It's not just because of COVID, right? I mean, things are... That definitely helped to speed things up to where a lot more people are becoming more and more comfortable to buy, purchase online, to speak to strangers online, to fill out forms online, right? And so it's booming, the entire thing, and that's good for you, right? It means that you can grow into selling solar in multiple locations in a matter of snap of a finger, right? which is obviously good. Now, if you're late to implement what I'm about to share in this video, you're gonna regret it in two to three years because my personal opinion is that, you know, the solar industry, just like a lot of other industries that, that weren't regulated at first, um, got regulated real fast. And so it made it real hard for everyone that participated. Uh, it made it real hard for everyone that, that was in the industry to, you know, to make money after that. So what I believe is going to happen is, you know, in, in three to five years, mark my words, in three to five years, somebody like Elon Musk is going to come out there and be like, okay, well, I'm just going to put a website up where people can choose their solar panels. They can learn everything they know about solar, right? And, for, you know, they will just have a crew come out there and, and install the job for them, right? which will then eliminate the need for a salesperson to, uh, you know, to go and sell them and obviously get commission. And so if you look at the past, how do I know this? <clears throat> for the past 10 years, you can look at, a, you know, the solar, uh, the, 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 um, the amount you pay for solar and has tremendously decreased over time. And it's gonna keep happening. And the more that keeps happening, the less of a commission there will be for the salespeople. And I guarantee that in three to five years, uh, you know, selling solar is, is probably gonna be, you know, a little bit more obsolete than it is right now. Right now, the industry is the, you know, the best thing since sliced bread, right? So I believe everyone that wants to make money should, should get into solar. But, more, more on that later. So let's get into the meat and the potatoes, right? So the, uh, the, uh, the first method of generating leads online is LinkedIn. I'm gonna put it on the board. Reason why I say LinkedIn is because you can build a lot of connections. You can expand your uh, network a lot on LinkedIn if you're, if you're active on it, right? I know some of you already probably, uh, you know, employed that method into your arsenal or you have at least tried it in the past or you know somebody who's tried it in the past. Thing is this, right? You can build your network, you can sell deals through LinkedIn, okay? And if you haven't done it, if you don't believe it, trust me, you can. I've seen people that have done really well with LinkedIn and I've seen others that, who say that LinkedIn doesn't work and just like with anything else. So. Um, LinkedIn is one of those things where you can build a relationship, you can build your network out, but at the same time, if you do it like most people, you're going to look like a loser. What do I mean by that? A lot of people on, these, uh, on, the, uh, on LinkedIn are simply copy and pasting the same messaging to, to uh, different people over and over and over again, and that's not prospecting, this is straight up spam, okay? People hate this, right? 
remember this, the more robotic your message, the more robotic and generic your message is, the less of a response you're gonna get from your customers, right? So my, my, uh, my advice to you, if you are gonna employ LinkedIn as one of your sources of generating leads this year and beyond, is try not to sound robotic and generic and actually you know, care for people, right? Build a genuine relationship with that individual instead of just going out there, copy and pasting a script, okay? So just, your, if your strategy, this, you shouldn't really follow a script. Your strategy is to make friends, okay? Make it as many friends as you possibly can. At that point, you know, you will find yourself in a place where a lot more people are gonna wanna talk to you as opposed to if you're, you know, if you treat them as, you know, a dollar sign and that's all you see when you're talking to them. And that comes across, this is, you know, your, your way of communicating to people, it becomes very transparent real quick when they see how personalized your message is. So, which leads me to my next point. Try and make your messaging personalized. Don't just rely on copy and paste the scripts. In fact, you shouldn't, right? Try to make friends. Your goal shouldn't be to make a sale. Just try to make friends, okay? And, you know, another analogy uh, popped into mind um, while I was talking about this is, look, you copying and pasting a message to, to an unknown person on LinkedIn or any social media platform, it's like going to a bar and asking the, you know, a stranger to marry you. It's the same thing. It would, you would say, well, that's ludicrous. You know, why would anyone do that? Well, that's the equivalent of you or anyone going on LinkedIn and just blankly, you know, copy and pasting the same message to, you know, a lot of people and just mass sending it out right? It simply does not work. So my advice to you is just personalize your message, be a real human on these platforms, and you, I mean, you'll see the response for yourself. Um, number two would be Facebook, one of my favorite ways to generate leads. Reason why I put it out as Facebook, reason why I, I, I like Facebook is because, look, anyone who doesn't like Facebook, let me just start off with that. Anyone who doesn't like Facebook, hasn't really had success with Facebook, you know, generating leads on Facebook, and that's why they, they most probably don't like it, right? Anyone who knows how to generate leads and knows how to generate high quality solar leads on Facebook will tell you that Facebook is the best thing since sliced bread, right? Um, and reason why is because you can set up an ad, right? And you can target exactly your perfect customer, you can put it out there in the area where you want to target, and you can send your message out. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to give you a point because a lot of people already know about, you know, the methods that, are, the methods that I've already, uh, you know, mentioned in the very beginning of this video. But... What, what people don't know, what most people don't know is that Facebook ads work if you know, you know, if you know how to use them. And here's, here's what I mean. There's a lot of marketers out there and a lot of people who think that just putting out there, um, hey, go solar for zero down and that's your best offer. I mean, it was a good offer 10 years ago, right? Now... It's, it's not that great of an offer. Reason being is because, look, it's a good offer. Uh, realistically speaking, I mean, you're eliminating their electricity bill with a cheaper solar payment, right? It's a no-brainer. But the thing is, it's overused with time, right? And just like anything else that is overused um, in society, it becomes redundant very, very quickly and it doesn't spark people's attention next time they see it, right? So right now in a lot of states, especially in the, in, you know, in the good states, uh, in the sunshine states, that same messaging has been beat up for the last you know, three to five years. Like honestly, it has been so beat up to the point where a prospect would wanna throw up you know, every time they see a message like this um, on their feeds. So I would just say with Facebook, the best thing, that, the, the best marketing strategy that has worked for us is offers, 
Like just having, putting offers out there would make your Facebook ads, you know, really appeal to people and not just having a generic solar ad, hey, go, go solar for zero down, new role in the state, right? Um, you know, <laughs> so what, what do I mean by offer? Makes an irresistible offer or a godfather offer to your prospects where they cannot refuse that that is tied into solar, but at the same, I mean, it can be, uh, it can be something completely different than solar, but I would recommend putting something out there that is that goes hand in hand with how solar works, with the concept of solar. So, um, some, something that we do in our I'm going to give you one offer that, that we actually have tried out that works really well. It's something like free appliances. You would offer somebody a free appliance of their choice. Right, an energy star free appliance, something that saves energy. Isn't that what solar is all about? Green, saving energy, right? So, um, so free appliances, anybody who goes solar, they can get a free appliance, right? A stove, refrigerator, right? Uh, you know, freezer, uh, you know, whatever it might be, dishwasher, you know, whatever. So, any, anything. Anything that is, you know, any free appliance can, can basically work, can get people's attention. But I used to work really well for us. And, and so an offer that goes hand in hand in solar would make it irresistible for people to click and, you know, and go through the motions. And a lot of people say, well, well actually, I, I don't want people that, that just want free stuff. It's not about that, right? If you're in marketing, or I mean, if, you, if, you, if you're not in marketing, you should, you should know that the first thing you want to do with your prospect is get them through the door. Get them through the door. Give them a reason why they should come in, and once they've come in to your space, then you can sell them, right? In any other given point, you're not going to be able to do that because you don't even have their contact information. How can you sell somebody you don't know, right? You cannot. You need, the first thing you need to do is you need to take care of getting their contact information. And putting out an offer is going to help you do that, right? More on that on, the, uh, on a different video, but let's get into this, uh, the third and final way of generating leads. Solar leads will be YouTube. That's another one of my favorite ways of generating leads. Now, YouTube, like Facebook, I mean, offer would work really well. You can allow yourself to be more educational on YouTube, uh, but the good thing about YouTube is that you can actually target, you can actually target an in-market audience. And if you don't know what an in-market audience is, it's people that are already looking for solar. Okay, that could be good and bad, and I'll give you the reasons why, but you can target pretty well on YouTube, and you can, you know, you can uh, geofence people, you can target specific channels that are talking about, you know, solar or green energy or, you know, save the planet or this, that, and the other, right? You can be, and, and you can be a lot more educational with people because it's not pattern interrupt marketing. I forgot to mention this, I've probably said this in another video, but this is pattern interrupt, okay? And this is educational, right? So this is pattern interrupt, this is educational, which means on, on YouTube, okay, on Facebook, you have to be screaming out. Bright colors, right? short videos that sometimes don't even make sense, but they need to make you stop, okay? You need to make you stop. Why are you scrolling? Have you ever been on Facebook scrolling like this? Your thumb is going a thousand miles, at a, uh, uh, you know, a thousand miles an hour, right? And you need a bright color to get you to stop. That's called the pattern interrupt, right? This is Facebook. That's how Facebook works. And with YouTube, it's more educational, meaning if you've seen, a, if you've seen an ad on, on YouTube, and obviously if you've not been living under a rock, you probably have, um, the way YouTube works is 
You watch a video right before your video or in the middle, uh, or in, uh, in the middle of your, uh, in, uh, uh, on your video, you get an ad, right? You can skip it, but you can skip it after something like five seconds, right? So, and if you're good enough to catch somebody's attention, then you will, you know, you'll get to, you'll get the person to invest more time, you know, watching that, your ad, right? So you can educate them on why solar works or why, you know, they should go solar right now or they should at least get in touch with you. So that's how both of these ways differentiate. Um, but, you know, they're, they're very different, I'd say, but, you know, the concept of marketing still applies. You need to have an offer that you put out there and, it needs to resonate with, it needs to resonate with people and it needs to make sense for them uh, in a way that a, the, a, the offer is actually being congruent with what you're trying to sell, which is solar. And this will conclude the video. Thank you so much for watching and investing your time with me today. I hope you enjoyed, uh, you know, the content of this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to download the Soil Sales Black Book, which is right in the description, the first link in the description box, and it's completely free, okay? You don't have to pay anything, no selling, nothing. I just want to help you out. Anyway, stay safe, and I'll see you again on the next one.